Outstanding. I mean, <laughs> that was the hard part. Uh, okay, you're with Amanda Perry for the Brighton Cardinals, soon to be Bethel softball Wildcats. How does it feel to be hearing your sign today? Um, it feels great. I'm really blessed. I'm so glad to just continue my career and my education at Bethel University. Now, how long have you been playing softball? Oh, wow. About yeah. since I was four or five. Okay, so you know this game your whole life. Yes, sir. And you get to your senior year, and early on, you didn't want to play at the next level. What changed? I think I just realized I stayed within myself, and I was like, I played it for so long. Why well, give up now? Might as well just keep going. Now you had a lot of coaches calling you when you you, you, had your, you watch your teammates who <laughs> signed before you, and you getting calls, and you kept turning them down. Why? Why do? Why are you turning down in November and December? <laughs> I just didn't feel the good like vibe from them. Coach John at Bethel, I trust him. I know his work process. I know what's going to come out with him. I know what's going to be the outcome. Okay. And Coach Jacobs, what he said was once that you start getting on that dirt, swinging that bat, that love came back. Did they have a part to do when the season came? Oh, definitely. I knew once that first at bat hit, I was like, I can't end that. Like, I got to keep going. That drive just kept pushing me, so. Now, speaking of your at bats, you are known as a slapper. Yes, you, sir. You do one of these things here. <laughs> okay, you had a teacher and stuff there, right? Yes, for about a year and a half. Now, your dad was honest. He said he didn't like it at first. But he said, my daughter could hit from the right side with a natural pop. Right. But you had to discipline yourself and learn how to slap from the left side with that using your speed. When did it click that you, you had us down? I would say sophomore year, I started getting the hang of it. And then last year, it really started the, like, balls were just popping off the bat. It was just natural, like, easy. I don't know. Okay, well, uh, I'm sure Coach Jacobs is glad because <laughs> y'all went to state sophomore and junior year. Talk about your teammates. Y'all were part of that big changeover as freshmen. You, you suffered a knee injury. Yes, so sir. you had to wait your turn. But once you got in, talk about how things flow with you and your senior class. Well, honestly, we've been playing together since we were little. So we've always had that chemistry. And I knew coming in freshman year that we were going to be good. We knew it. Everyone still knows it. Yeah. We're still getting through this year. So, I mean, we have great chemistry. No one will beat that. Well, well Coach Jacob said in this team's chemistry, you are the heart and soul of it. You are the one that energizes them talks to him, verbalize it. So you like that part of being the leader in this group? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite thing. Why is it? Did you get that from your brother Garrett? No. Okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. no. Okay. He's a, I he's learned just that a on my own. He's just a talker. I just know <laughs> when I like make a mistake or make an error, if someone comes up to me and is like, you know, you're fine. I feel great then. But if I'm just sitting there in the corner, I'm like, ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, I, when someone motivates me, it makes me do better. So I want everyone else to feel like they can do better. And I definitely seen that. Like, I know that heartbreaking loss against Mom for yes. the walk off. But you made a couple? You know, mistakes in the game early, but you bounced back with a couple great plays. So, what advice would you give a younger player that might be down on themselves when they have a bad play? What advice would you give? I would just say it's a short, short term memory. You gotta preach that every game, every inning, every at bat, short term memory. Well, let's wrap this thing up. Speaking of memories, now you're gonna go off to create some memories at Bethel. Are you glad that you made the decision to continue your career? Yes, sir. Why is that? Because, I mean, I think I just have enough talent to keep going, and I think it needs to be. Continue. I think everybody in your family will agree with that. That's why they're in there happy. It's <laughs> yes, all sir. get out that you're going to the next level. Well, congratulations, Amanda, on heading to Bethel. We're Thank you so much. Thank you.